Thank you so much, Commissioner Jamonis team, for inviting us to your wonderful office. Thank you, James, for having me, and thank you for, the, for your viewers. Miami-Dade is the only county in the United States where more than half of the uh, population is foreign-born. Now under your watch as immigrant from mm -hmm. Haiti, uh, the uh, county is now a no century for undocumented immigrants. What is that telling you? Well, it tells me that um, this county, um, who's, which is a county of immigrants, should be a whole lot more sensitive to the decisions that we make. Um, I don't want to say that my colleagues make a mistake because I'm sure that they deliberate, they know the pros and cons about what uh, the decision is, but nevertheless, this wasn't my position and I'm very uncomfortable with it because we need to always remember where we came from and we need to stand and support to those who need uh, assistance right now, our understanding, and to need to understand our vision. Very uncomfortable. So you're one of the commissioners who voted against the uh, mayor uh, Carlos Jimenez this uh, order. Uh, why you decided to vote against that? Well, because I think it, I don't think this bode uh, well for my constituency, for the immigrant community in Miami-Dade County. Um, I think um, um, a part the, part of the reason why I make the decisions because I remember uh, uh, I was once. Uh, undocumented immigrant myself. And there were people who stood in the gap for me at the time. Uh, who I, there, there were people who made very unpopular decision to, to uh, walk me through the process, to demonstrate on my behalf, uh, to address uh, my issue before immigration, before the federal government and others uh, on my behalf. And then I was able to obtain my permanent resident uh, status, then become a US citizen, and now representing uh, uh, this great county of ours. Uh, I aim to do the same thing on behalf of the immigrant community, especially the undocumented, because it is for a time like this that I think I'm placed in this position to tell them that I am them and they are me, and therefore uh, they, they can trust that I'm going to always stand on their, uh, uh, to, uh, and, and supporting them. Mm. On the political side of it, do you think that um, pressure to withhold uh, federal funding is behind uh, that uh, decision? For my colleagues, yes, uh, I, I understand uh, the claim that they've made that uh, the threat about uh, rescinding some of the grants uh, that uh, should come to this county or future grants that um, uh, uh, this county should prospectively receive uh, is serious. But my position is that we shouldn't be make those kind of decisions based on dollars and cents. Mm. Um, this is decision, a decision regarding uh, the fundamental of, uh, of uh, you know, of this uh, country. Uh, uh, the, 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 the right, uh, the, you know, to liberty, uh, justice, uh, the, the right uh, to due process. Um, and, and I think uh, the integrity of our people, the dignity of our people, seeking justice for our people is more important than uh, some of our fiscal decision. Uh, I know uh, it's a tough statement to make as a, a person uh, uh, who is responsible uh, for the uh, 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 fiscal uh, uh, stability of our mm -hmm. uh, county, but nevertheless, uh, there are things that money can buy. Can buy. Uh, and when we face these decisions between money and liberty, I'll go for liberty anytime. Wow. So now you're, you're kind of say, you know, no tolerance to undocumented immigrants. What, what does that mean? Uh, that's not what the county says. So that's what? That's what the executive order uh, of Mr. Trump says. Mm -hmm. uh, my county basically, in, in defense uh, uh, to my colleagues' positions, because uh -huh. they're still my colleagues, I don't want people to misunderstand their position. They are fearful that we will be losing money if we don't hold um, ICE detainers in our prison cells longer than we're supposed to, because mm -hmm. the federal government required that we hold them at least 48 hours longer. So that's the decisions that they've made. So in their mind, um, making these decisions basically prove to the federal government that we are no longer uh, under a sanctuary uh, city status. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I, I'm saying, and many um, in the community are saying, that we are still a very welcoming community. And um, of course, people shouldn't be afraid. People should 
uh, uh, do whatever they can uh, to work their cases through the system. But I don't want to say that it's, uh, it's, uh, it jeopardizes uh, uh, um, immigrants in general being here because some, uh, most of our immigrants basically are very law-abiding citizens. Mm. So let's understand it uh, clearer. <laughs> if an uh, uh, undocumented immigrant right now is working you know, on the street in Miami-Dade, uh -huh. being arrested by a police officer, mm -hmm. will, what will happen to that uh, undocumented immigrant? Will the police officer have the authority now to detain him and, and, and send him to uh, ICE uh, department and eventually get deported? First thing I'm telling to my undocumented uh, uh, community members, don't get arrested. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Don't get arrested. Do whatever you can to uh, stay within, to behave within the, the legal framework of our uh, county. And second, uh, if you are uh, arrested, call your lawyers immediately, okay? Uh, uh, second thing is uh, my poli police officers, the county's police officers have told us, our uh, county police officers have told us, they will not be asking our uh, immigrants for documentation. That's not their job. Um, the president's executive order says that he will force the police officers in the future to ask for uh, 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 legal documents. Mm -hmm. But m our Miami-Dade County Police Department have convinced me that they will not do that. that that's major news right now, Commissioner. Well, so you're telling me now the police officers in Miami-Dade will not ask the director of police, the deputy director of police, the mayor uh, have said that they will not do that. And the board, even though the majority of the members of the board have supported the mayor mm -hmm. and his uh, and, and, and supporting and him, uh, 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 um, uh, for lack of better words, supporting the pres uh, President Trump executive order, but the majority of the board says that they will not. Uh, follow through on uh, supporting um, the mayor or the police department uh, asking or requesting that our community members show legal document when they are stopped in the street. So what what is the the impact of that order then? Uh, if because uh, you know just the impact to go of the, the order details. is right now solely uh, about not allowing people who are currently in jail who have served their time not allowing them to leave their cell at the end of their term. Mm -hmm. Because if they, are, if they have an issue with the federal government, if, they have, if the federal government claims that they have an issue against this individual, the federal government will require that they process them before they are released from jail, even though they've already purged their sentence. One last question, since you opened the door with the uh, police officers in Miami-Dade. Mm -hmm. Will police officers uh, in Miami-Dade participate in checkpoint, future checkpoint by um, ICE uh, I hope officers? Not. I hope not. I hope not. I don't think um, the police department have uh, uh, made any declaration that they would sh do sh such things based on uh, prior comments by the director of, and by the deputy director, even by the mayor. I don't mm -hmm. think our county will do that, and if they were to do that, I would not support them doing that. Thank you so much, Commissioner, for being here with thank us. Thank you, James. It's my pleasure, and thank you to your viewers. Thank you.